We really view this as a fairly transformational journey for our uh, clients, really. And um, what does that mean? Well, uh, our clients generate anywhere from 25 to 40 percent of their revenue from payments across kind of their ecosystem that it includes consumer and their uh, commercial or corporate business. And so really what this requires is a view into business model components so the way that they serve and generate revenue through those customers all the way down into kind of the operating model components of the people process and technology that support that revenue generation. So we really do view this as a transformation and in the typical context of a transformation, we think there are some, some short term steps that need to be taken to assess that whole ecosystem along with some long term transformational steps like retirement of technology and um, you know, reorganizational of, of uh, some operational processes and those types of things that they need to really be looking at this from a transformational lens. I think that the industry now, for any given bank, they really need to step back and take a thoughtful view on what the implications that real-time payments are going to have on their enterprise. They need to mobilize a team of some of their key stakeholders to step back and analyze all the implications across the organization. And what I mean by that, implications to their products, implications to the line of business, both from a commercial standpoint as well as a retail standpoint. What are the implications to your back office operations when you migrate toward a 24-7 environment that they don't exist in today? What are the implications to the technology, the risk, the data security environments? It's all very complex. I think one of the biggest risks that the U.S. is going to face with the execution of faster payments is just the execution of the initiative in and of itself. If you contemplate the fact that you've got 13,000 plus financial institutions that you are going to migrate to a brand new payment schema, and as a part of that, they are going to be required to be integrated into a, a revised settlement capability that will likely be provided or supported by the Federal Reserve, they are going to need to be integrated into the aggregators, which are going to be necessary to bring the ubiquity to the program that is going to be necessary for its broader success. And there it's going to also need to be integrated into the software vendors who provide the various and sundry solutions that are going to stand up the system. In some cases, it may actually cannibalize bits and pieces of their revenue. And in some cases, it may enhance bits and pieces of their revenue. In some cases, they're going to have to add uh, technology or operational components to manage it. And in some cases, they'll actually be able to retire some legacy technology or operational components that are associated with it. So there's really things happening kind of across the spectrum on both sides. And we're advising our clients that they need to understand kind of that myriad of, of uh, activity that's occurring around the movement.